Christine Connor with the Manly Scott Designs. This is going to be a really fun video because I've got painters right outside my window and they probably think I'm crazy. <laughs> anyway, today I want to show you what we're going to work on is a block for Corona Lanterns. Before we begin though, I want to show you what the quilt looks like, so hold on. Alright, so here I have a picture of what one of the quilts that I've made looks like. This was done in Timeless Treasures Hawaii uh, two and a half inch strip pack. Um, and I think it turned out really, really nice. So here is what the quilt is going to look like in the Capri, uh, Timeless Treasure Capri strips. Okay, the block is essentially made up here of a A strip, a B strip, a C strip, and a D strip. The A strip is pretty self-explanatory, so we're not going to focus on it on the film. So guys, this is what I call a TV quilt. You're going to do a lot of marking, you're going to do a lot of pinning, but if you sit there and watch a really fun movie, watch something inspirational, maybe watch Tangled, um, see what's going on in the town of Corona, um, it'll help make this quilt go a lot faster. And then when you go over to the sewing machine, you're just going to sew it all together, and before you know it, you're going to have the whole quilt made just like that. We're going to start backwards though. I'm going to start you off with the D strip and I'm going to tell you about the C strip and I'm going to tell you about the B strip. So here's your D strip and you have your two, two, two squares. Now one thing I noticed that I learned or I figured out is that if you measure, if you take the square we need to draw a line from one corner to the other corner. And that line measures, if I put the ruler there, it measures three and a half inches, as you can see. I also notice that if I take my three and a half inch grid square, that one side is three and a half inches. So I thought, how can I use a square to help me draw these lines? So. I notice that if I take the center of the, the square, there's a, um, a vertical line that runs through the square right here. If I take that square and I put it on one side of my little square piece of fabric, I have now a line that's exactly three and a half inches long. I'm going to use a Sharpie pen. When I do this, when I'm sewing, I use a sew line or some kind of other quilt marking pen. But for your sake, I'm going to do it. For the sake of the video, I'm going to do it in a black Sharpie so you can really see that line as I draw it. Now, that line goes from top to bottom. I need the other line to go this way. So, if I put, here I had the line on the right side. If I put it over on the left side now, and draw the line, my line will be going in the other direction. I found that to be really, really helpful when I did this quilt. I just stacked up 63 squares on one side, 63 squares on the other side. I made one for my sample so I could visually see which way I go and I did boom, 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 63, boom, 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 63 while I was watching a wonderful movie and I, I wasn't even aware that I was doing all this marking. And the other thing I was doing is I was pinning. And when I ran out of pins, I would run over to the sewing machine and in a little bit I'm going to show you how you can chain stitch all these together. So that is your D-strip. That's how you would do your D-strip. Now on your C-strip, you don't have a square now. You have a rectangle. But this is a really cool thing about this square. I can do the exact same thing. I put the line that horizontal line that runs through the center of my square, I put it on the right side, draw my line, and again, it gives me that perfect line size that I need. I need that line to be three and a half inches, and that's what it is. You can see it just goes right down there to the corner of my piece of fabric. And then I put it on the other side, so I don't have to sit here and line and guess. You know, if I had to do it where I had to lay it down and match it, that would be a pain in the butt, but this grid just makes it really, really easy to do. And then if I just go ahead and stick a couple pins in there, and I did the same thing here. I did 63, 63. I marked them all the, the way they were supposed to be. And then I just pinned them. And when I ran out of pins, I went to the sewing machine and just chain stitched them all together. And when you're done, that's what your C strip will look like. 
B is a little bit different. Not really. It's kind of the same thing. But the difference with B is when you make your markings, let me just mark my first one with my line, and I lay it on there, and then I want to mark the other line going the other way. Oops, wrong way. Just kind of got to visualize. When I lay the other line on there, you will see that the two overlap. So I can't sew both of them at the same time like I've done with all the rest. So what you have to do is you have to mark one side. Doesn't matter which side, just pick a side. Mark all of one side. And then after you've done 63, sew them all together. You can chain stitch them. Sew them all down. And then when you're done with that, you will have something that looks like this. And then you take your other piece and you lay it down, pin it, and again you're watching TV, enjoying that great movie, and you're just having a good time. It's almost like you're not even doing anything. And you just sew that line, and then when you're finished, you'll have the, uh, the B block will look like something like this. Let me put the B back on here so we see B as in boy. B block will look that like that, and you see you have that overlap right up there at the quarter inch where your seam is going to be. Okay, so you just do that. You know, my husband, I almost felt guilty making this quilt because he came home and he said, what would you do today? And I said, oh, I watched this great video, and I watched this video, and, you know, I watched this inspirational, I, I like to watch a lot of YouTube, you know, positive thinking type thing type videos. So I watched a couple of those and I was telling him all about it and he's like, wow, you didn't work at all. I said, no, I did. Look, look at all the sewing and marking I did. I'm going to have a quilt tomorrow. So let's go over to the sewing machine and I'm going to show you how to sew, chain stitch all the strips together. All right, I have a whole stack of these uh, half strips. These are the um, B, B ones, so I'm going to do just one at a time. I'm going to start up here in the corner. I actually have an open toe foot on, and um, this one, if you have a Falk machine, it has a little, it's, a, it's called a star foot, um, but it has a little notch that goes out, and you can just use that for a, the center guide. If you don't have that, you can use an open toe, because you got a line anyway, you're just going to follow the line. Let me just get started here. I also found that if I put my pins, this is kind of cool too, I put my pin thing right under here so that when I sew, I just go down. When I get down to here, I just bring both pins forward and it just the, my magnetic uh, pin cushion picks it up. So that's kind of fun. I try to have fun when I sew. Okay, so here's my second one. I'm just going to line that up. I'm actually going to put my needle down. Scooch it under, and away I go. Make sure you want to go from corner point from end to end. So sometimes it shifts a little bit. You have to shift it back over. There's another one. You see how I'm just chain stitching them all together. So easy. All the prep work's been done while I watched a movie and had a great time. go. I think you get the idea. Let me do one more and see what I what, what you guys are seeing. Make sure you are seeing. Let me move out just a bit maybe. Yeah. Let me do that one more time where we're out a little bit more. Yeah, sometimes it's hard to sew and look at that big monitor because I have to take my eyes off of what I'm sewing. There we go. I think this is a better view for you guys. And there you have it. Send me pictures of Corona when your Corona lanterns when you're finished. I would love to see your finished product. Have a good day. Bye bye. And what is the editor doing today?